Just like other financial institutions, the local microfinance sector is grappling with the challenge of high interest rates, which are denying its clients access to credit. Already, small-scale and medium-sized enterprises are said to be cutting back on credit due to high interest rates. Some have opted not to borrow. They are not to grow their businesses, quite a number. Uh, the bigger loans, you notice a bit of struggle to keep up with their payments. Of more concern, however, is the effects that high interest rates are having on the microfinance subsector, as most institutions depend on borrowing from larger financial institutions to lend to low income earners and SMEs. When you borrow at 20%, how much do you lend it at? They would have to lend it above 30%. Now that has hindered the growth of the industry. High interest rates notwithstanding, the sector's sustainability received a lifeline in 2008 when the central bank amended the law to enable microfinance institutions take deposits. So far, six institutions are licensed to do so. Despite this, access to microinsurance still remains a key threat to low-income earners and SMEs. When an informal person goes to the hospital and they have a bill of 100 or 150, it may mean they pay that bill, they close their business. So far, Faulu has been able to mobilize over 3.1 billion shillings in deposits from its over 286,000 customers. Faulu, whose asset base stands at 6 billion shillings, is now looking to increase its deposits to over 4 billion shillings to enable it to expand its lending book. Wanjiro Gaido, Citizen Business.